Well, believe it or not, we are just about two months into Delmarva life, and, and one thing for sure, we have a whole lot of fun. Oh, we sure do, and one thing we've really enjoyed over these past weeks is hearing from you, our viewers. We received comments from many of you through Facebook, Twitter, email, letters, snail mail, telephone calls, and we want to share some of them with you this afternoon. Now, from Winona Phillips, it is uh, great to know Delmarva Life is safe for my kids to watch. She goes on to say, so much is aired that the content is not family friendly. Thank you, Winona. All right, and this next one, I guess, is actually geared toward me. <laughs> this is from Vicki Short. It says, Lisa, I laugh every day when y'all are on. You are such a happy gal. Even if I don't feel like laughing, I have to start, <laughs> or when you start laughing, you have such an infectious laugh. Thanks for making my day every day. Also, Jimmy and Brian do the same. Yep. Can't leave them out. Oh, yeah. Short. Papa and Spyro, so we got to mention them, too. But yeah. it's really all about you. It's all about it's me. Really all I'm about such you. a happy gal. <laughs> <laughs> my husband and my kids want to talk to you, Vicki. <laughs> <laughs> She'd like to make that arrangement, please. Keep these coming. Uh, we got a couple more here. One from Carolyn Adkins. I watch your show every day and love you both. But now, let me preface the rest of this by saying, we read the good and the bad, okay? And we are going to share the good and the bad, and we bring this one up specifically. Um, I watch your show every day and love you both, but you need to do more research before you go shooting off your mouth about EpiPens. Uh, went on to say, I have a grandson with severe food allergies. There have been too many deaths because of not having EpiPens in school. That one from Carolyn Adkins. Um, her reference there specifically was we were talking about uh, the schools. Um, in Worcester County. In Worcester County, mm -hmm. uh, getting non-prescription EpiPens and that way, if a teacher or administrator perceives that there is an allergic reaction, they then have the tools they need to try to treat that. Mm -hmm. And we had talked about, well, you know, what kind of training do they get, and is right. this really a good idea? Please understand, we weren't saying this is a bad idea. Right. We weren't saying this is a good idea. We wanted to make sure that we show you both sides. You know, here's some people saying this is a great idea, just like you said, mm -hmm. um, because there are kids that have food allergies, and if there's nothing there to treat them with, what do you do? Um, and there are some people saying, well, that's a bad idea. What if they don't know what they're doing? Right. So, please, we weren't talking against. Right, right. And we actually, um, you know, had a lot of, I didn't have an opinion because I didn't know everything about it. Right. It's just we like sometimes to spur conversation and uh, have people talk about it. And please keep that coming because you keep us on our toes and because you know <laughs> I, I'll be the first one to admit I sometimes end up saying something I didn't really mean to say it that way so <laughs> keep keep me on my toes. Yeah absolutely here's another one this one is from Lynn Powell she says I really enjoy your cooking challenges between Lisa and Jimmy but it would be nice to see all the ingredients out and ready for the demo. I agree with you there. Mm. Or even give each one of them their own allotment to explain what they're doing. It seems to be chaotic. Mm. And actually, this is one of the uh, suggestions that we took. And yep. I don't know if you've noticed in the past couple of uh, recipe challenges, we actually have been showing the ingredients. We read that one. I remember reading that one and saying, hey, Let's that's, do this. That's a great idea. This is a good and idea. One of the reasons was because apparently Jimmy keeps forgetting the cheese. The but. Forgetting the cheese. And, and the whole thing about it being chaotic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. You that, have no idea how chaotic it is. Our producers started laughing at us so much and doing one of these things. Wait, you find out what we got planned for I you. I can tell when they're going to do one the next day because they start meeting in secret. And they start giving me that look like they're going behind closed doors. Making a quick run to the store say, oh, i got to get a few things. Oh, no. Uh, we're doing a recipe challenge. Chaotic, yes. That's on purpose because we like to throw up a five-minute clock. It's not that we don't know how to cook. <laughs> uh, Lisa certainly does. I can make my way around the kitchen, but it's... Can we get it in the five minutes? And who can do it first? I actually had someone actually come up to me and say, I, I was surprised to hear you don't know how to cook. I was like, no, I really know how to cook. She can cook. Just not with a five, five minute clock and an audience in a different kitchen with six foot eight Jimmy Hoppa pushing me around. Did you say that part? <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh. <laughs> So yeah, that's part of the fun, just to yeah. see how much chaos we can keep under control. <laughs> uh, we have another one here from Martin Shuey. We really enjoy the show, and I believe the main reason that we do enjoy it, it's so much because it is unscripted. And even when we do have scripts, I mess up <laughs> reading them, which shows your human side and makes the show much, much more enjoyable. Thank you, Martin. Uh, we do enjoy uh, talking, we and we 
you know. And we encourage you to join us as part of the studio audience. Uh, nobody does this anymore, has a studio audience, mm -mm. certainly not on Delmarva, and we wanted to make sure to bring you back in to see the show. And I think some of you guys might admit that part of the show is what never goes on camera. Yeah? Yeah. Would you agree with that? Yeah. <laughs> Kind of what I was afraid of. Yeah, when the cameras turn off, it gets pretty interesting. Well, don't forget, if you missed any of our shows, you can watch them at Delmarva Life online at delmarvalife.com. And you know there's so much more to the website than the show itself. We have the eats and drinks section, which features more than a thousand restaurants. If you're planning a wedding, there's a wedding guide, everything you need to plan your Delmarva wedding. There's the WBOC classifieds, the real estate guide. You should really check it out, delmarvalife.com. And we welcome your feedback, as Jimmy said. We want to hear from you. We'll take your suggestions any way we can get them, whether it be through Facebook or Twitter. Good, bad, in between. We want to hear it. You can always leave your comments there. Now, here's a look at what's happening in the news. First at 5 on Fox 21 and WBOC News at 6 and 7 in high definition.